Hey guys, since we uh, brought out the Miller tables, I've been asked a pile of times to make some videos of them in action, show them working. So we're going to do that today. Uh, it's just going to be a short, quick little video. Um, I've got some Dan Hurd pay dirt here. It's a brand new bag. I have no idea what's in it. It's steel sealed. Uh, so I have no idea what it's like. Um, that's what we're going to run today. So hang around. We'll get started. We're going to classify this down to uh, 30 mesh. Uh, mostly because that's all I could find laying around for a classifier here. And because catching coarse gold is, is easy, we want to catch ultra fine gold, the really small stuff under 30 mesh on the Miller table. And run that over the Miller table and, uh, and see what we get. It's always best to run your material wet. So we'll just add a little bit of water. Mix it up really good, make sure our material's all wet. And we're ready to begin. These are pretty easy to set up guys. We've done a little bit of work to make sure that you get a nice uh, a nice water flow. But basically we've got four jets inside of here across the header. So our water's dropping down nice and even across the whole table. And then we've got miner's moss under that uh, to help again spread the water out. And then we have our, a very tiny calibrated opening at the bottom. Make sure that our water is sheeting absolutely smoothly. Okay, we've got the table up and running here and turned on. We don't need a whole lot of angle on it. We don't need very much water. We just want a nice, very smooth flow. We may have a little bit much water here, but we'll try it like this. Um, of course, don't forget to add a little bit of good old jet dry every time. Especially with this ultra fine gold, it tends to be flat and uh, and flaky so it tends to be easy to wash away so anything we can do to break that surface tension is certainly going to help recovering that ultra fine gold. For the life of me I couldn't find this spoon anywhere in the shop so we're just gonna dump a little bit of this material on right out of the pan. See how slowly it moves down the table. Here it's all light material. This is all bronze here, so we're not too concerned about that moving away. Down here we can double check it. Make sure that we haven't lost anything in it. There's our little first little piece of gold showing up right there. And it's going to stay put. It's not going to try to wander away on us much. We can move that around. Move it higher up on the table. But it's stuck on there pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere. We, uh, we need to add a little bit more material here. Um, don't think this is representative of Pan Dan's paper. I've... Uh, I've classified all of the coarse gold out. You know, expect to find a lot more in his in his pay dirt, but we have classified out all the coarse material because we're only looking for the fines. You see the blondes are really light, they're moving down the table really fast. If you're not sure that you're losing some, pull your material back up. And just look through it. We come down to the bottom of the table here, and we're just going to check what's in. There are blondes. We'll take another look, and there's there's still nothing in there. It's all clean of gold. We'll just 
we'll just get this right off our table. But if we come back up here and take a look, now we're seeing seven or eight specs. Well, we'd see seven or eight of my phone would, uh, my camera would focus, but now we're seeing there's two, four, six, seven specs up, left up at the top of the table here. None have moved anywhere. There's none, there's no gold farther down the table. It's all right up here at the top. double check down here pull our material back up and just take a look and see if there's any any gold even this far down and there just isn't there's nothing there so we'll just brush that we'll just brush that off the table and get rid of it and we'll add a little bit more oops well we added a lot more We added a lot more material there, so we'll just slowly work it around. That's the last thing that you ever want to do, is load a, load a table up with that much dirt all at once. But you know what, let's just torture test it and see what it does. We'll look down here. See what's down here in our tailings. Make sure we're not losing anything. There's just there's nothing down here. But we're gonna find a lot more up top here in just a minute. This little cup isn't the right thing for loading the, uh, the table. A spoon would be far better, but I just couldn't find one around here anywhere. So there's the last of our... There's the last of our material gone. And we're going to pull it all off to this side of the table. I do to recover the gold and what I do to recover the gold is just put a little cup put my little cup right back under the corner where I've saved my gold at and I use my brush to pull it down and catch it all in the cup. I went and got some black sand and put the gold, put a little bit of gold into the black sand. This is a little tougher test. I way too much on here. But this one-handed movie making, cleaning gold just isn't quite the answer. Now you can see our material is moving much slower because it's so much heavier. Much heavier material here now. That's pure black sand with a little bit of the gold in it. It's moving very slowly. You can see down at the bottom of the table. It's just black sand. There's, there's no gold in it. Until we start to move up the table a little ways, now we're starting to see a few little flakes in this area. This stuff down here is all this stuff down here is all clear, so we're just gonna brush that off and get rid of it. But we're gonna pay a little bit more attention up here where we have some I 
Now you can see we have some gold higher up, so we're just going to keep working that back up the table. Bring it up higher and higher. At the same time, we're going to watch our material down here. It's not just really clean, there's nothing in it. Let me get rid of this. All this material here is clean of gold. Our first speck is near the top. There's a little tiny piece right there. So we're just going to keep pulling our material up. Spread it around a little bit, just so we have a nice even flow, continuously moving. Our material down at the bottom here. It's nice and clean, there's nothing in there. So we'll just get rid of some of this. Back up to the top. Sometimes we have to spread it around a little bit to keep a nice even flow happening. But you can see the gold starting to show up in the black sands. Back down here, we still have nothing in this material here. But you can see that it's starting to, the black sands are starting to disappear. And you can see our flakes of gold are staying behind at the top of the table. So I guess this is no way representative of Dan's pay dirt because we literally screened out most of the gold with a 30 mesh. We're only interested in the ultra fine for this. You can catch the ultra fine, you can catch anything. And there we have a little bit of black sand left over there, a little bit of gold in it. We'll just keep moving it up. Just tailings down here. Very flat gold is fine stuff. You can see uh, some of it's migrated just a little ways down the table. But we're going to keep our eye on it and we're going to keep moving it up. You can see now almost all of our black sand is gone. But you can see our gold that is all left behind. You see all our gold left behind the top of the table. Black sands are all gone now. All we have left is gold. So I just moved all the gold over to one side of the table here. I put a cup underneath and we're just going to Brush all of our gold down into a little cup I get under the corner, and that will have all our gold clean and ready to go. I know you're all going to say, what else was in that bag? Well, what the heck, let's... Uh, let's throw it in the pan. Let's pan it out and see what we get. This is much more like it. There's the coarse gold. This is much more like it. Now we're starting to get into 
with the coarse gold that Dan's pans, Dan's bags of paper are famous for. Let me just clean off the last bit of this. So just for fun, we'll just put this on the milling table. You can see what the coarser gold behaves like. You can see it just parks itself there. And a few light minerals left. They're just wandering down the pan. Must be some mica flakes. Uh, but we got a few, a few bits and pieces of flotsam that we were uh, cleaning out. We gather it all up, and there's our, there's our gold. And that's pretty much just parked here now. That's not going to go. That's not going to go anywhere.